are the police. Where it is? You got a hit on y'all, man. Y'all been greenlit. Come on, man. We're cops. Yeah. Everybody wants to kill us. <laughs> Welcome back to Negative Cutters, the movie trailer review podcast. I am your host, John Beck, and joining me once again is Michael Gaines. How's it going, Mike? How's it going? What's going on? How's it uh, going? I uh, it's, you've said it a lot, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm doing well, and uh, we are ready to talk about the Red Band trailer for uh, End of Watch. Uh, this is... Uh, I chose the Red Band trailer because I was like... Really? There's a Red Band trailer for this? Um, <laughs> so uh, I, I thought it would be interesting to, to, to take a look at. I always I always find the, the Red Band trailers uh, interesting to watch because I want to see, do, is it necessary? What are we getting out of uh, having a Red Band trailer? Hmm. Um, so uh, before we get into that discussion, uh, let's uh, let's break down the trailer itself. What What is this movie about, Mike? Well, it just, to me, it seemed like uh, bringing down a cartel in a big city. Yeah, we've got, what, uh, we've got, uh, we've got uh, two officers of the LAPD uh, running around, kind of, they, they, they seem, they, they seem kind of hot shots, you know, like, mm -hmm. they, they seem a little bit, um, a little over the top in terms of, like, cockiness and stuff like that, um, uh, which I guess maybe that's kind of normal for a uh, movie portrayal of, of police but mm -hmm. uh they do a what they do a big bust they find some big you know drug bust and yeah. they piss off the cartel and the police is just the, the rest of the police department is just like you you know basically stepped in it because they're like it seems like they imply in this that the the police at least in that area or i probably what the narcotics division mm -hmm. leaves them alone leaves the cartel to do what they do um and these two cops piss them off and you've got like a showdown like you know what seemed like a relatively small area like a block in that neighborhood or something like yeah. that yeah um so what's uh what, what's good about this trailer mike honestly i i couldn't find a single thing with it i liked <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, you know what? I'm not big on cop movies. Okay. I, uh, you know, it's funny because I'm looking at the comments and people are going, God, I can't wait for for this movie to come out. It looks awesome. I'm, I'm just looking at it going, I don't see what's awesome about it. So, I mean, you, is it just, it's not your type of movie or it did, is there something no. about the trailer and the, you know, the subject uh, matter that really put you off? You know, I, I guess it's because I, it's just a genre that I'm really not familiar with. Okay. Um, I remember, I think the only cop movie that I really like, I, I guess, would be Lethal Weapon. Um, <laughs> I, I, and, and that's not really, I mean, you know, that, that it's Lethal Weapon and Beverly Hills Cop, I mean, they're, I, you know, those, I mean, that's, they're, they're, they're comedies, basically. They're action comedies. Yeah, they're action comedies. And, and so I'm not, uh, like, I remember going to see that, um, what was it above the law? Um, what, what's his name? Um, not Jean Claude Van Damme, the other guy. Um, uh, 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 but it's, it's, um, it was that exciting. Uh, Steven uh, Seagal. Steven Seagal, yeah. And his, his um, film debut. It was it was okay, but I, it, it, was well, it his I mean, film debut? I didn't know that. Uh, yeah, I, it's just the whole police movie thing just does nothing for me. So. All right. Um, well, let's look at uh, the the director David Ayer uh, mm -hmm. is uh, the director of the Fast and the Furious. Mm -hmm. Love it, hate it. Where never you saw it. Never saw it. Really. Never saw Fast and the Furious. Um, I think I saw it once, and I was surprised it was okay. Like I'm not that type of like I I really don't like that type of uh, movie typically. But yeah. uh, the Fast and Furious was not horrible. Uh, I'm sure every movie following it was uh it went down hill from there uh did you see training day no good flick i i have to I, like i actually i actually enjoyed training day i mean it's denzel washington so like it you can't really like i've never seen i've seen denzel washington i mean he carries a movie if it's bad you know what i mean like mm -hmm. 
what was that movie um, that he was in? It was sort of sci-fi. I was um, just thinking of that. Um, oh, uh, it is uh, Deja Vu. Yeah. So, uh, even that wasn't that great of a movie, but it was Denzel Washington. I mean, he's like uh, he's a great actor. Um, he's great in Training Day. So I actually really like Training Day. I'm just not sure whether I liked it because of the director or liked it because of Denzel Washington being actually good. Mm, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's the director of this. So you have uh, somebody who knows how to do, like in Training Day, sort of badass cop and, you know, cop who's not exactly on the uh, on the up and up necessarily. Um, but... What's all right? The biggest thing about this trailer is it's all POV shots. Mm-hmm. It's all like car cam and stuff like that. Um, do cops really walk around? This is my question. Do cops really walk around with a gun with a camera attached on it pointed at them? <laughs> I noticed that. I know there are a couple of weird shots in this trailer, and I guess they're going for some sort of style with this, but I can't really pinpoint what it is like there was even a shot of um the camera mounted on the headlights of a cop car. yeah and it was that's looking wild. that's and it was looking like from I could the see, corner to the grill i'm going oh, that's an odd angle i could see well all right uh, let's imagine a situation where would these would these would be these cameras they're making a documentary about cops like let, let, let's say like there is in the fiction of this movie a documentary being made about about these two cops, I could see them mounting cameras at different interesting points, but it just sure. seems it, it, the mixture of like the the cameras that are in the car, the actual real life cameras, with the cameras that have no business being where they are, mm-hmm. uh, I think just really take away from it. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I don't know how much I could watch of that, but this is <laughs> at, um, this has that sort of you know. I don't want to say Blair Witch, but I get, you know, like the, the, the reality shaky cam, like we're, we're yeah. trying to make this real. Um, and I almost wonder if that doesn't, is that really going to add? Do we need that? Do we need this to feel real because of the camera work for the story to feel real? Should a story. Yeah. It's hard that? to say. It's, it's hard to say without seeing the movie, but I guess what they, <clears throat> what they're trying to do with the trailer is say, we're doing something different, or we're trying to do something different. So at least it's not going to be your typical cop movie. Uh, whether or not it works, it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know, the well. Let's uh, let's take a quick peek at the at the trolls here and see if what they say uh, has uh, sparked some conversation here. Um, the uh, all right. Uh, Kapnerad says, uh, when was the last movie that didn't depict the LAPD as either abusive or corrupt? Not saying they aren't abusive or there aren't abusive or corrupt cops out there, but it's nice to see a movie with cops as heroes. Mm-hmm. Do you feel that the trailer portrays these two guys as heroes? Oh, that's an interesting point. Um, I don't know if I would say that it portrays them as, as well, I guess to me, maybe they were accidental heroes. Um, like you said earlier, they stumbled upon something that they weren't supposed to. Yeah, and they and they wouldn't let go of it. Like they just they, yeah. yeah, yeah. They wouldn't let go of it. Uh, so yeah, that's actually a good point. I didn't really think about that until now. I mean, you do you do have? I just I feel like I don't get the hero vibe from them at all. And maybe that's that could be a good thing. You know, they, these are anti heroes basically. Mm-hmm. These are heroes who like they seem to like their job for the the violence of it right um and so i feel like there's this aspect to them where they're not really heroes but but they are in the end working for the greater good versus just accepting the status quo of whatever the higher-ups are telling them which Mm is stay out of this neighborhood the cartel is here they don't like there's nothing we can do yeah um any uh, interesting comments on your end well, I did see one that was kind of strange. It says, um, "Red band trailers are such a joke." <laughs> All right, so that's. I'm glad. I'm glad you brought this back up. Did we really need a red band trailer? What do we get out of this being red band? Uh, see, I'm. I'm always iffy about red band trailers. Um, uh, so the the trailer opens with a bunch of f bombs. You see a little bit of violence. You see, uh, there's this one 
tracking shot of a cop with a knife in his eye, and I'm going. Ah. I, I that's I think that's I think the most shocking shot in this trailer. Like I feel mm-hmm. like they did it for that, and then had to justify it by putting like they they literally stacked all the f bombs in the first like ten seconds of the trailer. Yeah. Like okay, and now we get to it's like you didn't really need this. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if um I guess it, Red Band trailers. Uh, it depends on what you're seeing it with. Like, for example, let's say you're going to see uh, a rated R comedy. Would it be would it be um, okay to watch a red band trailer for an, with an R rated comedy? No, I mean uh, that's actually most of the time where you find red band trailers these days. You know, mm-hmm. that's like they're like, we need to really show you what the humor is, and this humor is going to be really pretty. You know. Uh, awful in in terms of you know uh, appropriateness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I don't know, but like something about a red band trailer, and, and maybe it's just the in in terms of those movies, uh, movies that are R rated, so R rated just because of like they're just gratuitously using language or just really horrible stuff. Like I don't do you you don't need that. Um, no, you don't. But at the same time. Would it be realistic to not avoid that? I mean, I, I, there, I feel like, I feel like their attempt with this red band trailer might be to get it as real as possible, mm-hmm. to be able to show the gruesomeness of it. Because I feel like this is they're shooting for this is really gruesome and and it's real. This is this is this kind of what this is like. At least yeah. they're trying to portray it that way. Um, let's see. Most, you know. I, most of the arguments on 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 this are are they corrupt or not? Um, and again, it's hard to say without seeing the movie because sometimes there's a, a fine line between corrupt and not, depend in a movie, depending on how it's portrayed. Um, yeah. <laughs> this is a good comment. I was just going through this. Um, so much GoPro. <laughs> Oh, that's another thing I have to say. When I was watching this trailer, there was something about the style, the video style of it, that made me think that the whole thing was shot on video and not 35. I don't know. There was just I, something I wouldn't about be surpri- it. You think it's just digital? I think it's digital. I, it wouldn't surprise me. I mean, why wouldn't they? If they're get, I mean, they're going for that feel. Mm-hmm. Um, As a I, matter of fact. It'd be kind of silly of them to try and put the effect on 35 millimeter film. Uh, mm-hmm. Versus just straight up shooting it. I mean, with the prevalence of cameras that can shoot amazingly high quality at that, I mean, I I would be shocked if this was film. All right, it's whoops. Sorry, I about hit my microphone. Um, camera is a silicon imaging SI2K, and laboratory is e-film, digital intermediate. Okay. So there you go. So pure digital, yeah. Yep. Pure digital. To, I'd be interested then to see how it looks. I mean, well, I mean, there have been plenty of digital movies recently. I don't really notice that big of a difference in most of the types of movies that are, mm-hmm. you know, because they're mostly a bunch of CGI crap anyway. So, um, unless, you know, I noticed film, I think more when film's making a statement. So film is a statement these days. Sure. sure. <laughs> and, and a stylistic choice, which is kind of funny that, it, you know, it used to be, it's what you, you know, needed. Now it's just, I'm going to yeah. use, it's like, you know, I'm going to use Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right. Any other interesting uh, comments here? No, no, not that I could find. Nothing worth reporting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, it. It's just. Yeah, I mean, someone says cops is back. Uh, this is really trying to. This is trying to be cops. The movie, basically. Yeah, uh, I suppose. Uh, stylistically wise, I don't know. All right, final verdict. Uh, where does this come down uh, for you? Are you going to see this? When are you going to see it? Nope, not going to see it. Never, ever, ever, ever. Never, ever. If I, if I, if I paid you, uh, if if I paid you money, uh, w- w- would you and like and and cooked you dinner? <laughs> uh, uh, I, like I'll, I'll, I would drive if I drove down to uh, down to your house, cooked you dinner, and popped in the DVD. Would you watch it? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I How would say you? I would not buy Mike dinner, um, <laughs> or make him dinner, uh, for this movie. 
Uh, or uh, now, so I said for or any movie. No, I, I'd make you dinner. Um, just not this movie. Um, our, uh, I don't know, apparently we're going out on a date now, Mike. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Um, so I, the, I don't know. I, I might see this on Netflix. Uh, I, I don't see this as being this type of thing in theater. I think is going to get really disorienting, and I think I would it'd make me vomit. Oh, like, uh, that's true too. Yeah. Too much shaky cam. Um, I would say avoid the theaters with this one. Uh, you know, if you're really interested, in it, check it out on DVD. I, I, I'm gonna say maybe on Netflix, but this is I'm gonna forget about this. I, I think I'm gonna oh, forget about it. Will. Yeah, that's actually I probably am gonna forget about it also. Uh, and, you know, unless I watch back through uh, episodes of Negative Cutters, that's the only reason I would. Um, so yeah, um, all right. Uh, for those of you who uh, um, who could not watch for some reason, uh, watch the, uh, the trailer because you're underage and you can't seem to fool YouTube into thinking that you're <laughs> of age. Uh, just know that just watch the normal trailer and say fuck a lot instead of, uh, you know, over the, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get, I'm going to get our show, uh, age restricted, which, uh, technically I've always been, but, um, oh, well, I should probably clean up the, uh, <laughs> now that we're on YouTube. Um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, whatever. Um, that's gonna do it for us. Um, if you if you do end up seeing this movie and really like it, uh, tell us uh, how much uh, we're full of it. Uh, let us know. Um, uh, obviously, you can comment on the videos and uh, you can uh, subscribe to our feed. And of course, check me out on uh, Twitter at twittercom dome and uh, the show is at twittercom cutters. And uh, I'd also like to thank our guest. Uh, this is the uh, not the last show ever, uh, but uh, the last show in the short sequence for right now um, with uh, uh, with Michael Gaines. And uh, Mike, uh, could you just let them, uh, let everybody know where they can uh, keep in touch with you? And and we can't. Ah, hold on. I just can't hear you. Aw. Oh. Uh, well. There we go. Okay. Google Plus kicked me out. I don't know why. I tried. I so I tried so hard to cover it. I almost had it. Um, I almost. <laughs> I, I almost had it perfectly. Um, but uh, you're muted. Uh, sorry about that. That's all right. Um, how can people get me? Uh, I am at Starmic on Twitter, and you can find me at thenexicon.com. That's where you can find all the shows that uh, that I do. All right. Well, uh, even without a lower third, you look amazing. Thank you. <laughs> 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 we'll uh, we'll see you all next time. Good night, everybody. Bye.